Catch up on the AR, how you did that? Check out lift up when you take off, how you did that? You put switches up, all your bleakies, how you did that? Yo, LV better to a legit, how you did that? Money, hold up, got a cut up, a lot of orders, quarter, dollars, quarters, wrist, water, a rich, water, a bitch, on the, on the, on the, wanna, come on, come on, hold on, hey, I'm on, stunner, stunner, stunner. Summer, been in, hana, cook up, hey, my crew, hey, show for way, pop it, pop it, sip it, a corn, rich, nigga, a one, baby, back in that a gun, baby, but a P, gun, bring it out on the refund, bring it up until I see the sun. Sheesh! Just got right, my, my cousin just got me a little quick shape and tape, so I appreciate you on that, my boy. Don't y'all hate when you working out and somebody just comes and try to mess up your workout. You just literally by yourself vibing, getting your work done, and somebody just comes over and is like, hey, you can't be doing this or you got to go here. Like, don't y'all hate that? I got my baby shower tomorrow, so I got to go do some more stuff for that. And, uh, man, that's really it. I'm going to go check out the mall, make sure everything's flowing flowing good and uh we doing what we supposed to be doing because saturdays are our big days so like saturdays we gotta eat on saturday and make sure we get the brand out like during the week it could be hella slow but like on the weekends friday saturday sunday like i said especially saturday that's the day to really get to it so So, here's my fit right here for the baby shower. I got the jeans, H&M. I got the rugby drills, the dreams jersey. Who is this? My auntie trying to come in? Excuse me. You and my, you and my blog. I'm in your blog? Yeah. Reebok shoes. That's the fit for the baby shower. Nothing but good vibes about to go on. and the success hear my words and listen to my signal of distress i grew up in the city and know sometimes we had less compared to some of my niggas i'm thinking more so the forest green olive green i think and burnt orange and brown should be the the trio that comes out first Stay tuned to see what drops. All right, so let me start by saying I'm a rookie. I started this video and didn't even have my mic on. Look at me. But what I'm basically saying is I want to thank all my family for the baby shower, and my friends for pulling up. Uh, we are extremely thankful for everybody. Uh, I want to thank y'all for tapping into this video too. But uh, right now we at the photo shoot for our new property of a dreamer's tea. And man, I ain't gonna lie, this photo shoot right here is probably my best one yet. Uh, just because of how clean it is, the scenery, uh, it just kind of gives off hard work. And and that's what the brand is all about, working hard until you're living at your dream. So uh, enough of me and my rookie mistake. 
I'm gonna hop right into this video and show y'all where we, where we cooked up. glass right now it's being real ratchet so hopefully it stays in there I think I broke it but um, just a quick update on what's going on so today uh, we just released the property of a dreamers tea it is 12 o'clock so um, we just released them on the site so far we don't have any sales right now but it's okay because we hitting the streets today so what I'm doing is charging up my car and I'm going to Nashville to the Nashville Black Market. And uh, I'm going to have these teas that we just released today. And our OG, I'm not sorry for believing in my dreams teas as well. And also the lifestyle shorts. Um, if y'all know what those are, definitely go to our website and check us out, man. We got some we got some good stuff out right now. I ain't going to lie. We got the hats coming with us um, as well. Um, the photo shoot turned out great. Everything so crispy and clean. Um, and it really just shows like a lot of improvement with the brand, which is what I'm trying to do um, one drop at a time. So one thing I know about this space is like there's going to be like good days. There's, there's going to be bad days. So because literally everybody, not not everybody, but most people that's on my text list live in my city, which I'm in Louisville, Kentucky. So everybody lives here. So people just going to pull up to the kiosk to uh, come and get the shirts. So today still, I feel like going to pan out to be a good day. Uh, one, because people going to pull up to the kiosk. Two, because we on the road hitting Nashville, which means we're targeting different people and uh, getting getting into a new space in a new city, um, which is always good. So today's going to be a good day regardless. Uh, I'm just happy that we are releasing stuff. And, uh, you know, you see some brands that kind of just stick with the same thing and uh, never release new things. So I'm, I'm always happy on job day, regardless of, of if we get sales online or not, because I know that. I'm going to get it out. I'm going to get it out there in the streets. So you ain't never got to worry about that. We're going we gonna to get the merch gone. So, um, man, y'all stay tuned. Like I said, I'm about to hit the road, go to Nashville. I got to stop and actually get some air in my tires, make sure they straight, because one thing we don't want to do is be stranded on the side of the road out of town. Um, I got to head to the warehouse, pack my car. This is not packed. These are shirts that have to go in the tote to go to Nashville. So... Um, these are just more shirts and everything like that. But yeah, enough of me talking. no agents nothing and so then from there basically it took me two and a half years to get my first contract overseas so I go overseas I'm there for like six months five months maybe and I get cut and so I come home for a month go to Mexico and I get cut again meanwhile all this is on YouTube so I'm documenting yeah, like the whole journey yeah and so like during that time for sure during that time I'm getting emails and uh messages like bro you're inspiration you inspired me to do a b c d so i'm like man that made me feel good so i'm like i got cut that second time so i'm like you know like i got to see the business side of basketball like it wasn't necessarily my talent and so then i was like man what else could i do so i just the clothing brand kind of fell in my lap so now i inspire people through clothes instead of you know on the court so that's how we got here for real, for real, for real. Like, I love the quality of the work. Bro. I appreciate like, it. That's one thing that's always gonna like for me, bro. I love supporting businesses of you know minorities and whatnot. Yeah. But it's more so. I'm not just trying to support you. I'm trying to support. You. I, I like quality. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. For I'm sure, saying? for and sure. Like, off the first take, bro. I can tell right here, bro. We gonna be tapped in for sure. Man, for I sure. Ain't, ain't good either, yeah, bro. I know. We now I'm documenting the journey of the brand. So that's where now we got the camera set up and the mic. Yeah, and so now people will be able to, like when the brand blow up, yeah, people, yeah, yeah. Be, people will get to go back 
and see, see the yeah, yeah. It's so funny that you're saying this, bro. Literally, man, I got uh, homies and whatnot. They all doing music, doing all kinds of things, man. But yeah. we kind of had that same mentality of just documenting. Yeah, it. you got to, bro. Come up. People yeah, like stories. Working, yeah. Like said, based on two years, you already in position any day by yourself. Facts. Facts. You? Facts, bro. I got a team, but they ain't here today. They ain't here today. <laughs> you gotta get out the mud. Facts. You got to. Having that, having that mentality right there. Bro. Yeah. You gonna make it. I appreciate it, and my man. Appreciate it. I'm here, bro. I'm here. Yep. Love, man.